What is up, YouTube? Wait a second, how come with anime today? I guess the Sparkman never had time to make a 3D animation. Nah, I don't care. Like the video and subscribe. I'm gonna play Xbox now. Whoa, we found something. What is this? Hello there and welcome to another video, my name is Sparkman, I'm a game developer and today we're going to create a horror game. We are going to make a game like the Slenderman, very scary game. Let me show you the demo. Alright, so here is the demo. If you press spacebar, you can walk. You have to uh, walk around and... Whoa, what is this? Okay, so let's open the example file, which you are going to find under the description below. Now, if you don't know what software I'm using for making games, there is a link down below where you can download the free version. There is also a link to the paid version, which allows you to release commercial titles. All right, so let's go over the assets. If you double click on your main character, you can see that uh, he has 32 directions. This walking animation in every direction it is uh, a disappearing animation which we could use after i have these two active objects which are just pictures it is a regular static object which is nothing just a picture this is the background you can see that this is just a picture here is another object which is uh some sort of corpse or skeleton this is our boundary so we can't get out of the play area and you notice that we have this big black object black object and we have a hole in the middle different directions Okay, so if you click on the main character, you can see that uh, he is a static object. Let's go to the uh, event editor. Let's create an always, always center the screen relative to our character. We're going to make our character look in direction of this green object. Look in direction of the green object. Try it out. You can see that he's now facing the green object. Let's control the green object with the mouse position x coordinates equals the x position of the mouse y position of the green object equals the y position of the mouse right out you can see that that works not too bad let's change the direction of this object select direction use calculation it's gonna be equals the animation direction of the main character we're also gonna change the position of this object equals the position of the main character right out that works not too bad now we want to move the character if the user holds spacebar then we're going to change the position of the main character relative to his own position 40 pixels is too much three pixels on the x and uh it's going to be in direction of itself let's try it out press our spacebar and you can see that he moves forward in the direction you're pointing we're also going to change the animation sequence to walking gonna copy line 2 negate it delete this here and we're gonna change the animation sequence back to stop I'm gonna make that a bit more transparent thread out and you can see that it works not too bad now if animation walking is playing animation walking and uh, we're gonna do this only once when this event loops display and loop a sound walking set this to zero and when the user stops pressing the space bar, we are going to stop a, a specific sample, which is walking. Try it out. That works not too bad. Let's do the jump scare. Line 5, new condition. If the rectangle collides with uh, the, the bones, run this event only once. Then we're going to play our jump scare sound. Play sample. Jump scare. Whoa, that sounds creepy. Let's try it out. Walk to the bones. Let's do the flashlight in the scary ambience. One more condition. At the start of the frame. Let me put that before everything else. Not like it matters. And we're gonna play in loop a sample. Wow, that sounds creepy loop forever under the always i'm simply going to drag the action from the red square into the black object and to make these uh two objects invisible at start and let's try this out whoa whoa 
Whoa, we found something. What is this? If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't like the video, give it a thumbs down. And now it's time to check out the top comment from the last video. Sorry out by top comment. And the one with the most replies is uh, super cool. So here's the channel and uh, whoa, let's have a look at this. Check out the first comment by Classic Cubes. Whoa, let's check out this. Okay, so uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And follow me on Twitter and I will see you in the next episode. Bye now. And now it's time for coffee.